So I'm sure if any of you have gone to high school, you know that there's always that one teacher, whether it's a substitute or a main teacher, who just gets so much shit from every student. Like, literally, they'll just sit there and try their best to teach the class, and every student knows they won't get in trouble by this teacher. So they just act like absolute fucking animals. Today's story time is about one of those teachers, only this teacher had a little bit of a breaking point and shit hit the fan. So if you enjoy the story or find it funny, please leave a like on the video. Let's jump into this. So it was my eighth grade year in school. I was in middle school. It was a normal day for me, okay? Young eighth grader Luna gets on the school bus. I go to school. I start my day off pretty normal in the cafeteria. I get breakfast. And after my third period and my fourth period, right before lunchtime, I had English. Now, my English teacher, she fucking hated our class. She hated us because we were the only class of the day that would take advantage of her niceness. Now, me, I'm kind of a silent dude. I would kind of just sit there and go on my phone, which was still kind of fucked up because she wanted us to be doing English work. But I wasn't like everyone else in my class, like the other 99% that would literally just be fucking loud as fuck, completely ignore her when she'd talk to them, talk over her, and just be rude as fuck. So on this day, we walk into English class. It starts off pretty normal. She's giving directions on what to do during class. No one can hear her because everyone's talking over her. I'm just sitting on my phone. And she's like, listen, guys, like, I really don't want to do this every day. Can you please just be quiet and let me say my directions and just please cooperate for once? Like, you guys can talk at lunch next period. Why can't you just listen to me? And I felt really bad for her. So you know what I did? I put my phone on sleep and I put it in my pocket and I started listening to her. And she saw that and she, like, gave me a nice smile. I felt bad for her. Like, everyone treated her like shit. So, of course, no one listens, and everyone's still being loud as fuck and just completely disrespectful. And she walks over to my table and tells some other students to come sit at the same table as me. And she starts telling us the directions separately from, like, the 80% of the people in the room just being loud as fuck. So, while she's saying the directions to us, these two kids in my class get up and start slap boxing in the middle of class. And this crowd forms around them of everyone else. And, like, even people from my table got up and started going over there to watch. And these two dudes are filming it. And they're slap boxing, and they're friends, so I think they were just doing it like a friendly slap box match. But still, you don't really do that in fucking class. Like, you're just asking for trouble. And of course, the teacher goes over and tries to break it up. No one's stopping because she's, you know, a small little lady, and it's two fucking jocks, and it's just not easy. So I go over there, and I'm watching because I'm like, what the fuck? And she's like, you know what? I've had it with this shit. And she goes over and snatches the phone out of one kid's hand that was recording. And then she completely, like, wedges herself in between the two people slap boxing, grabs both of their foreheads with each hand, and, like, pushes them away from each other. Like, some shit out of an action movie. And they got so mad. They're like, what the fuck? Don't put your hands on us. And she's like, don't fight in my classroom, and I won't. And one of them goes, whatever, give me my phone back. And she goes, I don't have your phone. He goes, yeah, you do. You took it from my friend who was recording. And I was like, oh, damn, like, he gave his phone to someone before they started so he could record it for, like, Facebook or something. So then she goes, no, I'm not giving you your phone back. And I was like, damn, like, this teacher is really stepping up. Because the whole year, I'm not kidding, like, it was like this almost every day. Like, people would just completely ignore her, and she just didn't give a fuck. She just let it happen because she wasn't in the mood. But, like, this day was, like, her breaking point. She fucking snapped. She went, like, Walter White on them. Like, went from the nicest guy ever to, like, a full-blown fucking meth dealer. Okay, actually, horrible comparison. She is not a meth dealer. I'm sorry. Teacher, if you're watching this, you're not a meth dealer. But she got that, like, anger that Walter White had, right? <laughs> she snapped. So then this kid goes, just give me my phone back and I'll leave. And she goes, no, you're not leaving. You're going to sit down and you're going to do your English work. And when you're done with this period, you can go to lunch and have your phone back. He goes, listen, lady, you got five seconds to give me my phone back. And in my head, I'm thinking, like, what the fuck's wrong with this kid? Did he really just threaten a teacher? Like, she's like this little, short, older lady I felt so bad for. Her. So I said, I was like, dude, what are you going to do? Fucking roundhouse kick the teacher in the face? Like, don't threaten her. She's not doing anything wrong. He's just like, oh, teacher's pet, standing up for the teacher. I was like, yeah, dude, no shit. I'm going to stand up for the person that can't fight back. He's just like, just stay out of it. I was like, whatever, dude, fuck you. And she goes, guys, just everyone take your seats. You can have your phone back after class. And she turns around and walks away. And this dude follows her up to her desk and goes, give me the phone. And she goes, go take your seat before I call security. And then he fucking reaches around and tries to snatch the phone from out of her hand. And she goes, get away from me right now. And he goes, give me my phone, bitch. And he tries to get even closer to her and grab it. And she's just got this grasp on it. And she's hiding it behind her back. And he's like, just give me it. And she's like, no, get out of my face. And he goes, five seconds. She goes, threaten me one more time. He goes, you got five seconds, lady. And she takes his phone and just fucking drills it straight into the concrete wall. She threw his fucking iPhone full speed at the wall. And you could like hear it break when it hit. And everyone's jaw dropped. 
and he's like, what the fuck did you just do? You owe me 800 fucking bucks. Like, just screaming. I don't even know if his phone was worth 800. Honestly, his phone was probably worth, like, 100 bucks. It was used, probably already cracked in the first place. And it was an older iPhone, so I don't know. But it was so, like, split down the middle with everyone's reactions. Like, half of us were dying laughing. I was laughing because, personally, this teacher was, like, so nice the whole year. And she had it up to fucking here with these dudes. So when the jock got out of line, she fucking just broke. And, uh, yeah, broke his phone, no pun intended. So we were laughing at that shit. But then the other half that was, like, friends with this dude thought that she was the biggest asshole ever for doing that. And I could kind of see both sides. Like, obviously, no one wants their phone broken. But, like, bro... You are threatening to hit an older lady. Like, what the fuck's wrong with you? That's messed up. So after she did this, she just chuckles in his face. And he's like, you're insane. And he picks up his phone off the ground and storms out of the room. And I just, like, couldn't stop laughing. And she's like, all right, everyone settle down, settle down. So for today's lesson, and she starts going into her directions, and everybody listened. Like, I'm not even kidding. It's like the whole fucking room changed. Like, everyone, like, just took advantage of her being nice, and then they saw her break, and everyone was just, like, terrified of her. So no one fucking stepped out of line after that. So the best part of this story is after the bell rang and everyone got up for class and was leaving, she's like, hey, Austin, can you stay back for a sec? I was like, yeah, for sure. Now I'm thinking she's about to yell at me or something for whatever reason. And she goes, hey, Austin, like, I really appreciate you sticking up for me back there. Sometimes it's really hard to be a teacher. And in a situation like that, it's really kind of scary because, you know, I'm not that big. And these two older boys are against me. And one of them's like threatening me. And I was just really scared. And I appreciate you sticking up for me. I was like, yeah, no problem. You're a nice lady. Like, I felt bad. She's like, yeah, so um, here, here's a reward. And she opens her desk and gives me a fucking full bag of Starbursts. I think she just always kept them in there to like reward students that were doing good. And we just never saw them because our class was fucking terrible. So, uh, yeah, I guess I was the first student to get a reward, and I got the whole fucking bag, so it was pretty awesome. But yeah, guys, I just left class and went about my day, and from that day forward, the whole class was a lot more respectful of her. She was kind of the coolest and most terrifying teacher I've ever had, so if you guys enjoyed this story, please leave a like on the video, leave your stories in the comments down below, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys all later. Peace.